Hey everyone. Hey, so it's Heather here with Coco and Claire. So this is our new release this week. We have seven um, fall gels. They're all sparkle, sparkle kind of uh, metallic-y. And then we have four new caviar beads. Uh, these three caviar beads are the same as what's in the flower one, same colors, so they match. And then this is a newer one. It is kind of like a steel, um, darker gray. It's really pretty. So we'll just go through these quick before we get started. So there's the gray-y kind of ones. So they're much darker than the silver, as you can see. But they're not quite black. They're that like gunmetal color. And then we have the silver and there's three sizes, I believe, in each pot. And the rose gold. And the gold. So these are the same caviar beads as what's in the ones that were released a bit ago that had the little uh, white flowers in them. There's just a lot more of them in one little container. So if you need replacements, that's the perfect solution for you. And then we have all the colors. So 401 is Cornucopia, which is a really nice kind of coppery color. And we have Molten Maple 404. Not really doing these in order, so. This one's kind of like a rich brown color. It's got some flecks of a little bit of silver and gold in it, almost. And then we have 405 Swirling Sage. This one's a dark green, like a forest green. And they're sparkles, but they're almost, um, they're not quite a metal leaf gel, but they almost act like they are, if that makes sense. Oh, sorry. And this one's 399 Crisp Twilight. It's a really nice teal color. And 400 Cozy Cuddles. This one's a really deep purple. And 402 Autumn Berry. This one's kind of like a dark, dark cranberry magenta, kind of a combo of the two. And 403 Toasted Acorn. And this guy's really pretty. He's kind of a, not quite a rose gold, but not a silver either. He's very much in between. He's super pretty much prettier in person than he is on the camera. That one's probably my favorite and it's kind of a, this will go um, all year round. Actually, even a lot of these will go all year round, the teal and everything. This one's really nice. I've been putting this on bridal parties all summer. So, is there any color you guys specifically wanna see today on the demo or not really? Any questions, feel free to ask. So I got my little hand here. All right, so this is the lily hand. And I got the longer um, tips inside of it. Let's see if I can get it kind of in the center there. Okay, so we are gonna use So the middle one has two coats of 352 marshmallow on it. So I thought we could do some kind of art stuff on that guy. 
And then we're going to use 399 Crisp Twilight, which is the teal, and 402 Autumn Berry, which is the magenta cranberry one, and Toasted Acorn 403, which is the kind of rosy gold looking guy. And we'll just do a little demo for you guys. Fingers need to be all the same length. It's showing up in there. All right, so we are gonna do an ombre, I think, on these two fingers. And we'll maybe do some marbling on the ring finger and then we'll do some little lines and swirl kind of thingies on the middle finger. So if you haven't worked with these hands before, the tips just come out. These are the longer tips that we have that go with our hands. They just slide into this pocket. Push them in as far as you can. Kind of fix up your cuticles. And that's it. It's in there and they're in there pretty good. But they don't slide out very easily. All right, so for this little pinky, I'm going to do a layer of the toasted acorn. On one half. And okay, if you're a little bit over on the half, that's okay. And then we're going to do the other half in the crisp twilight, which is the teal. We want to stay away from the cuticles always, especially on ourselves. And then I'm going to take and kind of blend these two, these two colors together. They blend super easy. These glitters always blend easier than solid colors, but I find these ones blend super easy. And if you have a bunch of color that doesn't go with your brush, um, when you go to put it back in your pot just give it a wipe before you put it back in there and there's that guy and we'll do a layer on this guy too so half in the toasted acorn half in the crisp twilight doesn't really matter which one goes first sometimes it is easier to do the the darker color first it just kind of depends just kind of play around with them and then we'll go down the middle and see I have a little too it's hard to see in the camera but I have a little too much uh teal than I want so I'm just going to take the toasted acorn and go down and I had a bunch of teal stuck on my brush when I did that just because the teal is much darker obviously so I just wiped them on either a wipe or I have like a little tile off to the side here and there's those two colors so on um, this guy we're gonna give him just the toasted acorn. One full coat of them. So you just want a nice even coat, not too thick, because then you'll have curing problems. So we're gonna cure these ones. The white is already cured. I did him earlier off camera. So we'll give those ones a cure. And yeah, these colors are really versatile. Like you could definitely get, um, 
like you can pull out the summer ones like other the fallish looking colors i have ladies that wear them all year round it really doesn't matter but yeah definitely the teal and the magenta cranberry kind of one you could all year even the purple and the toasted acorn definitely all year it'll go into christmas and new year's too it's super flashy So there's that. So we're going to do another coat on these ombre fingers. And ombre with most uh, glitter gels is just this, especially vertical ombre like this. Just go down one side, go down the other, and then Kind of blend them in the middle a little bit and they just blend super easy when you start getting into the solid colors or doing ombres where they're going across that way it gets a little harder the horizontal ombres are the harder ones to do especially with solid colors okay there's those two. So we've got two coats on each of them and they just blend up super well. And then we're gonna take our little ring finger here and we're gonna add, actually, we're gonna put down another super thin coat of this, just enough to have some product on top, not enough to worry about covering any of the missing spots, stuff like that. And then we're gonna take a little bit of our other colors, and put it on top. Like it's still, Super thin, right? Thin, thin is always the best. You could always add more, but if you have too much on, then you're gonna start having trouble. And we're gonna take a little bit of that marshmallow that we had in the first one, or in the middle finger, I should say, and add just a little bit in there too. Then we're gonna take our detailer, or sorry, not detailer. Uh, uh, you can use your detailer or, um, oh my gosh, totally blanking on it. And then I stuck my finger in that. Dotting tool, there we go. <laughs> sorry, detailer or dotting tool. And we're kind of, kind of, just mix these around together. Don't mix too much because they will get kind of muddy. Pull some into the sides. I'll show you with the detailer too. With the detailer kind of same thing. You just kind of want to swirl them together a little. And if there's any color that you want more of, you can add it in and add a little bit, oops, a little bit more teal in there. And we're going to add a little bit more white of the marshmallow. Yeah, just kind of dragging them around until you're happy with that. Focus. Yeah, you just want a base color. All right, we're gonna get those a cure. So, and we're curing for at least 45 seconds.
All right, so for the next finger, we're going to do the middle one. And you can either take product from the lid, like from the actual brush of your bottle, or you can put a little bit of product on your mat or a tile or something like that. So now I'm going to do this guy. So these ones are all cured. Got our nice ombre on the two end ones and then some marble going on in the ring finger. Now we're going to use the middle finger. And we're just going to draw some lines. So we're going to use our detailer brush. This is the double-ended detail. Double-ended or dual-ended? One of the two. And I'm going to use the longer side. Just preference, short side works too. We're just gonna draw some little lines. So I just have the lids, and I'm just gonna take product off of the lids. If I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff, I'll, I'll often put it onto a tile. And you can do kind of any kind of swirl or straight line if you want. I like swirls. Then you don't have to be so precise. It's a lot more forgiving. one line. You can cure that if you want so it's not moving on you or you can go in with your next color. Just keep in mind if it's not cured your colors will blend together if you're not careful. And especially on yourself it gets hard because you're trying to hold your finger in the right spot. So curing in between might be the easier. Especially if you don't want your colors to blend together. If you have trouble doing detailed stuff, stick your f a finger on top of anything. The other hand, table, somewhere just to anchor it. And then let your hand be a lot more steady. There's number I'm just wiping my brush off when I'm changing colors. There we go. And we have that to cure. put on a few of our uh, little caviar beads. So. There 
have your beads, the easiest way to put them on, take a tile or your mat and oop, let's see, and some gem gel. I think it's gonna focus. There we go. And we're gonna put gem gel on our tile. I'm gonna take some of our caviar beads. And what color should we use? I'm gonna just pick a few of them out and mix them around in the gem gel and just get gem gel on all sides of the little beads because they're perfectly round. So they're a little harder to attach or to keep attached, I should say, than uh, crystals are. So we've got our nail. We're gonna put a little bit of gem gel on them just as if you were attaching uh, gems. You can kind of see there. And then we're gonna pick up these little guys. And dotting tool, um, detail brush, anything to kind of pick them up works. They kind of like to be a pain sometimes. I also find the end of the uh, gem picker upper because it's sharper, it's pointier. It works really good for picking these little guys up. If you need more gem gel, just put a little, oops, a little bit more on. And you can add crystals in. You can put them as many or as little as you want. We'll just do a little thing at the top here. so we don't cure it. Yeah, just make sure you're, when you're curing and stuff, just make sure your brushes and all that are out of the way or you will ruin them. And they aren't easy. They're almost impossible to get, to, un, to fix it. Usually you have to buy a new one. Sometimes if there's not lots in there, you can kind of pick it out, but not ideal. So our gem gel is cured, and then we're gonna put some top coat on. So we've got shine top coat. I'm just gonna put that on all the fingers. A good even layer. On the on gems, you don't want to put top coat on top of them. On these little balls, you can. I like to put it in around, back behind them. I'll even take my detailer brush and take some and put it between them and the cuticles. Just kind of wrap them all inside of it.
There, that's it. You generally only need one coat of top coat. Unless you're doing something chrome or a whole bunch of stamping, then I would recommend two. Usually you just need one. Here. I'm gonna give that a cure. And then that's it. Do you guys have any questions today? Yeah, so make sure on your own fingers or anyone else's, you're always doing a full cure. Same with these little hands, um, especially if you want to keep them. Um, if you want to keep and like display your tips, uh, do give them a little bit of a buff before because sometimes the polish doesn't like to stick to the shiny plastic. But there's your tips. Our pinky is like too short. <laughs> fit in the screen. So there you go. Two ombres that are super simple. Kind of swipe, swipe down the middle and some marble and a few little lines. Let's focus in for you guys. Yeah, and that's everything we got today. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.